Hi guys, and welcome back to Dabble the Reaction. If you've not watched us before, my name is Molly. This is Matt. We are full time travel vloggers under the travel channel Dab and Travel. Do you reckon she can do it? But we are now almost not anymore full time quarantiners. Quarantine, it's still sort of a thing, but it's sort of coming to an end and travel is upon the horizon. Um, well, we'll, let's just put it into context. We've been stuck in the UK for six months. Six months. We left the Philippines, India and Sri Lanka, which we travelled to in early January. We left there in March and have been at home ever since quarantining. But we can now travel a little bit, I suppose. It's sort of it's sort of possible and we want to show you how that's done. So exactly. that's why we want you to head over to our travel channel, Dublin Travel, travel. and subscribe. We've actually just left a three day trip across, across, around in the UK. Um, so wasn't leaving the country, but from next week we have a flight booked and we aim to travel for as far and as long as possible, but yeah. you never know with COVID. We're actually having to pack multiple different weather options. Because we just don't know where we're going to be. Because we just don't know. We're having to pack like swimwear, then we've got jumpers, mm -hmm. and we've even got full on track suits and rain jackets. So yeah. it's going to be crazy, but we'll get in with today's video. I We actually posted this morning, so you won't see this little weird yesterday, but about um, India oh, and China's recent, border it's clash. Again, yeah. Um, but Ch India have also banned 118 apps in total now. And so they've banned more apps? That, yeah, I think the most recent was Pub. G. I don't actually know what it is, but I've had so many comments on it. Um, and basically, the, this video is the question of will India regret it okay. because of China's retaliation or revenge, Who should knows? we say? We know that they've got a lot of their own apps that are up and coming. So, what they're saying along the way, if they're banning these apps, is support the Indian apps. Yeah. And then you're supporting your own rather than supporting another country. By banning the Chinese apps due to security concerns, India may have caused a massive dent in China's aspirations Which of global good. dominance. Mm -hmm. But it would be naive to think that China has yeah. no plan yeah, of B course. or the dragon is not planning to hurt India. According to a Chinese media article, which had inputs from Zhao Zhengcheng of the Shanghai Institute for International Studies, the actual reasons behind the app's ban is Newtel's intention to antagonize China and cause losses to Chinese investors. It was also mentioned that a Beijing-based Chinese tech company, which has business in India, has already halted hiring new employees in India. But the real worry for India is not the possibility of the Chinese firm's lack of keenness in investing in India after this. India's real concern could be the possible impact that it has on other foreign companies that are located in India. Mm. According right. to Long Jing Chan, president of the Chengdu Institute of World Affairs, the foreign manufacturing companies in India need part supplies from the factories in China, and due to the ah. ongoing there situation, must be other some of that those Chinese factories may be hesitant be to supply those these, parts to India. These parts. According to him, by them this these could parts, deter foreign firms from money. investing China in India. Making money, cause India buy them. Well, to a neutral observer, it appears that through articles such as this, China actually ends up exposing its dangerous intentions and perhaps this is exactly what India and other countries in the world need to see and understand. Perhaps, These articles yeah. may indicate that the jobs and ecosystem that are created for Chinese capital seem to be very fragile in nature and cannot always bring prosperity in the long run unless they serve Chinese expansionism. But if these mm. Chinese experts' warning is real and what they are saying is really going to happen, should India regret its move or should India celebrate? I think it's a really difficult question. According to a study yeah. from Mumbai-based research institute Gateway House, Chinese FDI into India is small at $6.2 billion, but its impact is already outsized given the increasing penetration of tech in India. The investments made by nearly two dozen Chinese tech companies and funds, led by giants like Alibaba, ByteDance and Tencent, which have funded 92 Indian startups, including unicorns such as Paytm, Baijus, Oyo and Ola. The report adds that China is embedded in Indian society, yeah. the economy yeah. and the technology ecosystem but that influences they can make their own it. A majority, yeah. more than half of India's the point is Indian is unicorns have a yeah, Chinese so investor. Hard to get rid of that. But yeah, the question is why India startups accept the Chinese money? According to Gateway House, most Indian venture capital financiers are wealthy individuals or family yeah. offices For and cannot yeah. make the $100 million dollar commitments yeah. needed to finance startups for their early there losses. 
So it is the advantage of the deep pockets of these Chinese companies that can easily tolerate these early losses before a startup yeah. becomes profitable. Which is yeah. fair, but it seems that know. the trend of Chinese investment in Indian startups is causing a massive geopolitical headache for India. The Mumbai-based research institute mentions that the Chinese are blanketing the whole of India and are creating a diamond necklace and around India that is so attractive in and insidious that it will make China's potent video, Indian Ocean string of pearl strategy seem less yeah. threatening. Um, so to many, it may appear that it is this diamond necklace that India has broken by banning Chinese apps. But the problem doesn't end here. Even if India finds an alternative for the initial capital that its startups require, and even if it manages to reduce its overall overdependence on China, there can be investments made in India by firms based out of Singapore and elsewhere, where the ultimate uh, owner so could be Chinese. China, but again, yeah. as long as India thinks that a foreign app or a foreign firm if is it's causing a security, a security concern, concern that's the, in its that's territory, more, that's it can more important. always ban Definitely. or restrict that, regardless of where it is from. As after all, I'm sure they can Indian work out a deal where they still work with these businesses in China because by working with anyway, these businesses in China, China's making money. Anyway, these are expected to bring so massive geopolitical and economical changes banner. in this region. And in due course, we should be able to find out if this potential threat from China is actually a blessing in disguise. After all, why would India complain when it has been trying to encourage its youth to become job creators yeah. instead yeah. of job seekers? User and initiative. See you again. I also really like her videos because she does give you a whole overview so of the So much information. Uh -huh. She goes really in depth, which is good. Um, you can see the issue, like ban them because of the security, but then you can obviously see the financial implications when it comes to certain businesses across India because they're backed by Chinese investors. I think all countries know that if they sanction China in any way that there's, there's going to be a consequence yeah. and that is just the way it's going to be. I think that's probably the same with a lot of countries. If yeah. you, I think the you US know, obviously are close or are banning TikTok so you never know what's going to happen. Exactly but thank you for this recommendation. We know what we like to do is discuss topics that are relevant, relevant. Now. that's the word I can think of it, news topics. So this is the second one following on from yep. yesterday's uh, border clash with China. Mm -hmm. So if you've got any others that you want us yeah. to look at, please comment below or message us on our Instagram, Adam and Travel. And yeah, any advances at all in the story, let us mm. know so we can maybe watch a new video so we're more up to date. This was we actually are a little bit new though, this is today's. Be something new tomorrow, no exactly. doubt. If there's something new tomorrow, let us know. Um, keep your recommendations coming, and if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe, drop us a like, and keep on dabbling.